Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 30 of this Let's Play Total War Warhammer. In the last episode, we wiped out Wissenland. I think that's... yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we moved some troops around, we started to redeploy our forces to go and uh, attack the dwarves, which are stubbornly refusing to make peace with us. And right at the end of the last episode, we were attacked for the first time by the forces of Chaos, and that is what we are currently fighting here. So this is the first time that we are able to field Balthazar Gelt and his forces, so we've got some new troops on the field here. Balthazar himself, of course, plus we have the Great Swords. Yay! So we need to decide how we are going to fight this one. The enemy does have a very vast army. They're going to struggle against armoured units, except for the Marauders. The Marauders are a great weapon, so we probably want to hit them with our great swords, and then basically just deal with everything else. The only thing that we do need to be careful about is the enemy is pretty good at taking down ranged weapons, because they have a lot of fast units. So we probably want an area which is fairly open. I'm thinking here. Defend this forest and then have them come down there. I think that's probably the best bet. So let's stick our mortars in the woods back here. We'll have our crossbows, something like that. We'll have our handguns like this. And then we'll probably position the handguns there on the right flank. Spearmen. We're going to want them against the warhounds in the front. And then I think we'll basically flank them. But the swords here to the right, uh, left even. I'll have the great swords behind them. And Balthazar there. What powers do you have? Earthing Rod. Minus 100 miscast chance. I don't even know what magic you have. Um, oh, and then two units of cavalry. You know what? I'm actually going to put the cavalry in the forest back here. And we can have them charge the rear of the enemy. I'm going to gamble because that was almost no magic. And that is, a, that is a win. 22. Let's do this. And, yeah, I've already deployed. Start battle. Pause. Okay, so they are facing our way, which is good. So we're going to get the crossbows, and I think we'll put them, say, something like that. Get the handguns. Like, actually, no, what we'll are the handguns here? And we'll have all of you move more slowly, so you stay hidden. We'll have the spears take the front. Actually, it looks like they could overlap. Where are their wolves? I'm not entirely sure. You know what? We're going to have the spears at the back and then have them respond to any threats that we find. And we're going to have the great swords here in the front. Sorry, the, the swordsmen here in the front. The great swords on my left flank kind of pushing out something like that I think would be sufficient and again don't run Balthazar has the searing doom spell large strike area causes magical damage spray of sizzling silver slivers rain from the sky to impale the enemies the caster's enemy all right cool so I think we probably want you up on a hill say over there mortars What's your range? Your range is sufficient. And we'll just have you guys hiding in the woods for now. Alright, let's do this. Let's reposition. The only thing the enemy can see right now are the mortars, despite them being in the heaviest of cover. So they are going to come charging down this way, I think. One unit of war beasts over there. The Chaos Chariot. What do you look like? Ah, that's pretty beastly. Do you count as large? Doesn't say so. They just have a very, very long line. Mostly the Marauders. But once we're in position, I'm fairly confident. They might try and wrap around here, though, is the only thing. Uh, though we can respond with the spears. I think I'm actually going to put the spears on the... on the flank, like that. Don't run. On pause. Alright, the mortars are starting to shoot. Cavalry ready. 
Alright, so cavalry are tying them down. Shoot in the middle like that. Let's have you counter charge. Spears against wolves. That's as good as we could have hoped for. Alright, let's have you on the charge. Alright, I think that's pretty good. You're being beaten up a bit. Now, where are the Chaos Marauders with great swords, or great weapons? Those are the ones I'm more worried about, because they could chew through my swordsmen and things. Not seen them. There's the chariot. You managed to break through, there's the great weapons. Alright, I think that's probably fine. Um, Ooh, you know what? We can use this. Like, right there. This is going to be painful. Oh ho ho! -ho! Alright, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that already. Beautiful. Ranged weapons ready. General, take position. Ready to serve. Yes, my lord. Sigma Corps. Oh, Zars being beaten up by this unit, though. Let's just blast them again. And gunners, ready to fire. Yes, general. Oh. Spelters are is really being hit hard here by multiple enemies. We've got them coming in though. Great swords are doing all right actually. Oh, he won. No, that was the chariot. No, don't don't take that. Just come out there. That's fine. Um, you lot are still shooting at that, okay. Oh, you know what I can do? Right there. You can really hit from there? No. have lost a unit. Not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe. Great swords took a pounding, but I think they also dished a pounding. 79, 161 kills. Yeah, they're, they're good. Alright, that was good. I'm pleased with that. Good result. 
Not bad for a level 1. And he's only going to get more powerful from now. And that meant that I could have... <coughs> excuse me, throat going a bit there. Uh, we could actually have... Got the town watch in that town. But so it goes. Right, let's just end. We don't have enough cavalry to really do any chasing down. Who did well? You only twenty kills, as impressive as that magic looked. Hundred and sixty three kills. Nice. Forty four, hundred and seventy two. Yeah, you were in the thick of things, like the entire battle. Great swords, what can I say? We lost 400, they lost 800. Not too shabby. No, we have to execute or we have to steal money. Um. Oh, we got an enchanted item. Cool. Take the money. I'll probably chase them down. Okay, that's champion coming over. Other trick to shard. Twenty damage resistance to those around you. Okay. Right, so first thing is first. Gorsal. Build me. Defense. You did level up. So we could level your Searing Doom up. Reduce the cooldown. And that is probably what I will do. Because that top one is your magical powers. Oh, and these are your legendary quests. Interesting. Level 8, 13, 18. Then yes, I think I will upgrade your Searing Doom. Marvellous. Actually, while we're here, let's have a look at your details. Other trick to shard, talisman of protection. Everyone else is already out. Alright, so what I would like to do is use you to chase them down and kill them. You're currently in the wrong yes, stance for that. that Still have the chariot. Only two warhounds. I should actually have looked at what the uh, what units of the enemy did the most damage against us. I kind of suspect it probably was the warhounds. I think we'll keep our great swords back this time. Let our other infantry take the brunt. Uh, maybe we'll charge them in towards the end. Actually, we have so many ranged units. We we should try and do as much damage with ranged as we can. Uh, Eleven. We can probably gamble that higher. Yep. 22, I'll take that. And now we want an open area. Uh, we could take here, but we'd have to make a real run for it to get up the hill before they do. And honestly, that is not a race we are likely to win. However, we could deploy here and then shoot them as they come over here. I think that's a better idea. So let's deploy right at the top of this hill with them. Then we'll just basically line up behind something like that. Something like that. You may well get seen before the battle actually starts in earnest, but I think that's going to be fine. You guys are easily in range. You probably then want the crossbows about here. Why not both of you? About here. Followed by the handguns just in front of you. Like so. We will hold the line with the spearmen this time. 
most of the line anyway. Stick some swords on the right, swords on the left. Great swords. We'll have in this gap here so we can react where we needed. Balthazar can be at the back of that line. And you can just hide in the forest because I don't want you dying. Cool, I think that'll do. Let's get into position. Ready to serve. We'll just have you moving forwards very, very slowly to about here. I don't want you revealed. And the chariot survived. Shooting at. I actually want you to hit them if possible. Lord of Metal. Oh, if it's blue, he's in range. If it's red, he's not. It shows where he has to go to to be in range. This is kind of a judgy thing. Go to about there. That's totally gonna miss. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't take that long to fire off. Good to know. Let's try that again. Alright. Counter charge time. To charge that. Go. Pick your targets. I am supreme. That's gonna be a better hit. We caught them, that's good. We caught the chariot on the spears. Marvellous. Oh yeah, that was much better. Actually running off. You probably are. Soldiers of the Empire, bow before me. Great swords. That time we got kind of. Alright. Done good. Did good. Let's get you back into position. Alright, who is the strongest? Them, probably. Let's see if we can throw down another one of these, just in front of them. Catch anything here, but we can try. I just need to make sure to turn these bad boys off before our cavalry actually hit. Oh, nice hit. How are you? Oh, here they come. Hold your fire. I think we've probably done enough damage. Just about. Let's 
as long as we can kill and catch and kill those 50 marauders. They might be the only ones that keep this army together, I'm not sure. How far have you got? Alright, you caught them. Good. Right, all of you lot, chase them. I think we've done it. Decisive victory, I would agree with that. That was good. We only lost 49 to their 223. Oh, is that a freaking chariot again? We only got 8 kills. Uh, Warhounds didn't do very well. It was actually their lord who got the most. Arthur didn't get a single one. It was the cavalry who won this one for us. Oh no, that was cap uh, catching people at the end. Uh, great swords. Uh, I think we'll take the cash again. Yeah, uh, we beat them. We got a power stone, which increases power reserves. Greatly improves power recharge. Oh, nice. Especially good for him. What? And he leveled up. Alright, so we can take metal shifting, which increases armor piercing damage. Reduces armor, that'd be quite nice. More leadership, lots more armor. 24 seconds, okay. And this is a... Oh no, it's a vortex. 13 seconds. Okay, I think... It's either going to be met no plague of rust or glittering robe. I think I'm going to take glittering robe because he needs a defensive spell of some kind. So we'll take that. Then if we were to get it again, it would have a cooldown. No, it's a cooldown of 15 seconds. It lasts 24. Why would you need that cooldown? Oh, I guess you can cast it on another group of allies. All right, fair enough. That makes sense. And did you get your power stone? You did. <laughs> then let's have you sit in Gorsal, where you can actually improve your replenishment. And we'll just leave you there. Marvellous. Right, Karl Franz, what are you doing? I think I'm basically just going to have you marching on the dwarves, as I mentioned previously. Did I start building your thing? Yes, I did. I command here. He commands here. So yeah, I think I really need to use you to take those dwarves out. And you could probably actually siege the dwarves from behind. Blackstone Post has a rather large garrison, but Karak Ziflin doesn't. Actually, have you come down here? I think I'll probably do that. Ready. Raise Sigma. That'll do. And you are just going to sit here. Two turns until that's built. All right. Now, while I'm here... Are there any other locations I could really do with City Watch? Possibly. You guys are friendly. Now, I mean, it would be these two that would need fortification once we confederate them. But until that point, I think we're probably okay. I feel like I really am wasting you, just leaving you here. I thought you were improving the public order. But once that Shrine of Sigmar is built, then I probably can pull you away. Until that point, I can't. And it's nice having an army up there in the north just to uh, respond to any threats as and when they arrive. And you're just replenishing. Which is totally fine. 
All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here slightly early again, but um, as I said at the beginning of three episodes ago, <laughs> thinking about it, I've just been playing these one after the other. Um, it's because I like to leave with a turn undone so I can actually remember what on earth I was doing the next time. As I can basically just let things play out and then go, oh yeah, that guy was over there, that guy was over there, I need to respond to that, etc. It's just, yeah, it's better for the memory. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.